state squash rackets association i am proud to bring you squash a sport for life we hope to answer two very important questions what is the sport of squash and why should you play our great game with a little bit of inspiration a little bit of motivation a little bit of education we hope to turn you on to squash a great game for life what is squash squash is exciting it's frustrating <laughs> it's, it's fun it's high energy it's aerobic intense awesome physically it's a tremendous workout it's a tremendous uh, sportsmanship too the more I play, the more I love the game. It's fast, it's fun, it's very graceful. Squash is all that and more. Since its creation toward the end of the 19th century, the sport of squash has known only increasing success. Enjoyed by 18 million people worldwide, its continued growth and excitement reflects its players, who range from all ages. The popularity of squash is addictive. Doubters of the game are told to just try it and are often hooked into a lifetime of enjoyment. People who are playing squash for the first time often find it very exhilarating. It's, uh, it's a sport that combines many of the best elements of other sports. It takes great hand-eye coordination, it takes, it takes speed, endurance, conditioning, and so um, I think people find it they can combine skills that they've used in lots of different sports all in one and they get a tremendous, tremendous workout. A recent study in Europe showed that professional squash requires the highest degree of cardiovascular fitness of any ball sport in the world. Played within the confines of a four-walled room, high energy and relentless rallies are commonplace. A good squash match typically lasts 45 minutes, but professionals can duel for as long as two exhausting hours. The beauty of the sport is its rugged pace. There is a geometrical nuance, almost ballet-like, angles, corners, as opposed to pure brute force. Like other racket sports, squash requires pinpoint shot making and tactics. While those qualities are important, squash also requires a good dose of high endurance, demanding physical and mental fitness from its athletes. Just the, the all round thing of the game, you've, you've got to do everything quite well. You've got to volley like badminton, you've got to, you've got to, be, um, you've got to be fit, you've got to be strong. You've got to have good concentration because the, the rallies last for such a long time and there's no breaks like, like tennis. You, you, you're immediately into the next rally. So it's, it's a test of everything. It's an all-round test of, of yourself. Immensely popular in over 120 countries, squash is still curiously overlooked by most Americans. Historically known more as an Ivy League pastime, squash has seen rapid growth in the U.S. with the construction of more squash courts. Since its beginnings 150 years ago in England, the sport has seen many changes. Many adaptations have occurred through the years, but none so important as what happened in America. The use of unheated courts where temperatures could drop below freezing prompted a harder ball to be developed. Consequently, when American players participated in international competitions in which the softball was used, they rarely finished well. But in the last few years, American courts have switched over to the international version. With this remarkable milestone passed, the USA is starting to make a name for itself among the world's elite. So what is squash? In the standard game, two players stand within an enclosed glass box, 32 by 21 feet long. The walls are 15 feet high. This is a service line, and the serve has to be above this line. This is the tin. Don't hit this. This is the tee, the part of the court I want to control, where the middle line and the, the service lines come together, forming the tee. The player who controls the tee usually wins the match. This is the server's box, and a server must have one foot in here when he's serving for the ball to be in play. This is the out-of-bounds line. Any ball hit outside the line is out. This is one of the many reasons that it is different from racquetball or tennis or any other racket sport. The ball itself is small and spongy, very unlike other racket sports. It's 
definitely does not bounce as much as a racquetball or a tennis ball. Um, but once you get it moving, it's great. And this ball is a softball. It's squishy. You can squish in your hand, and it stays up in the air a lot longer. It, you can you have more time to go get it. It doesn't just die off. Like between games, if you just come on and pick it up, it'll be warm in your hand. You can feel it. It's very warm. Um, and that's what gets the ball moving. Worldwide recognition was given to squash when it was included in the 1995 Pan American Games. Fourteen countries competed for the gold medal in Argentina, with the United States winning two silvers and a bronze medal in a hard-fought women's competition, as well as a bronze in the men's team event. The sport needs only 75 countries in the world playing organized squash to have a chance at being accepted into the Olympic Games. We've already exceeded that and are looking forward to joining the Olympic program in the near future. Once known for its white collar athletic clientele, squash is perceived as an elite sport, like sailing, equestrian, or skiing. However, the truth is, squash is becoming more widely accepted every year. For corporate sponsors, the demographics of squash are superior to most other sports. Companies with pure images find a positive and lucrative base when sponsoring squash tournaments or clubs. Many companies, longtime corporate backers of the sport, have discovered a tremendous niche market never seen before. Companies like these have learned the value of associating their names with this unique sport. Squash is fast-paced. It is exciting. It's addictive. It's for men or women, singles or doubles, both young and old. Once you begin to play this sport, you will discover that indeed, squash is truly a sport for life. 